Hi, my name's Rick Timmis. Today, Jackson will be taking you through a Sugar CRM tutorial. If you'd like to discover the great features and extensions that our Sugar CRM based ISAM system offers, then visit our website abazander.com today, where you can get your own free ISAM Lite system. This is not a time limited trial and there are no credit cards required or other strings attached. Hello and welcome to the first of your training videos for using the Sugar CRM system. In this video we'll be learning how to use the application from within a browser and cover the basics of the graphical interface just to get used to where everything is. Once we've logged in we can see our landing page and the basic user interface also known as the home page. Now while this may look like a lot to take in the first time that we use it don't be put off. It'll take a bit of usage before you start getting the most out of everything that Sugar CRM can do so don't worry about trying to remember where everything is at once. To begin with, let's take a look at the basic elements of the user interface. Up here we have the tabs area. Each of these tabs will take us to a different section of the Sugar CRM system. As you'd expect, each area covers a different topic. For example, if we wanted to manage the calendar, we'd click on the calendar tab. If we wanted to manage our activities, we'd click on the activities tab. Each of these tabs will take us to the page for managing that section's data. Again, don't worry about what they all do for now as we'll be covering each of them in more detail later. On the left, we have the shortcuts area. These are basically links that, when clicked, will perform useful functions for the section that you're currently in. For example, we can see shortcuts here to create a new contact, enter a business card, create an account, and many more. These shortcuts will change depending on the section of the system that you're on. For example, if we go back to the tabs area and click on the activities tab, we can see that the shortcuts area changes, and we now have shortcuts to schedule a call, a meeting, create a task, etc. The shortcuts are basically a quick way to get to the most useful task you're likely to want to perform depending on what area of the Sugar CRM system you're currently in. I'll just take us back to the home section here. It's also worth noting that if you want to hide the shortcuts area, you can do so at any time by clicking on the small arrow here and the shortcuts area will slide out of view. If you want to bring it back, just click the arrow again. OK, going back to the main area. Here, in the main area of the dashboard, we can see several sub-panels called dashlets. These are just to show us relevant information, or put the records that we want to view first thing at a glance up where we can see them when we log in. The particular dashlets that you use can, of course, be modified, We'll be looking at how you can do this in a future Sugar CRM training video. It's also worth noting that if you need to temporarily perform another task in Sugar CRM but you don't want to lose the page that you're currently on, you can continue to work in multiple browser tabs provided the internet browser that you're using supports it. I'm currently using Mozilla Firefox. For most browsers, if you want to open a page in the new tab, you can simply right click on the link you want to open and click open a new tab. Then in the new tab you can perform whatever tasks you need to then when you're ready go back to the other tab in your internet browser and whatever you were previously working on will still be there. In this way you can use multiple screens to maximize your efficiency where necessary. Finally Let's take a look at searches using Sugar CRM. We'll use the contacts area as an example. The search panel is located at the top of the page. Let's do a search for someone by their first name. For example, all contacts with the first name Belinda. Now we simply click search.
And here we see we've got two records. Now, we can see here a list of the records that fit our search criteria. This view, with the records arranged all together, is known as the list view. It's the view where the basic data is on display for each of the eligible records. If we click on one of these records, this takes us to the detail view. This gives us much more information on the contact in question. More information then is available in the list view. Let's go back to the list view now. If you want to get all the records back up on screen, you'll have to clear the current search by clicking the clear button. However, if we type in a new search, then it will still search all records. We don't have to clear the current search every time we want to start a new one. The advanced search button gives us more options when we search records. In the advanced search, we can see that we can search using many more fields. We can use any one or several of these fields to search for the information that we need. The advanced search panel has another extremely useful feature, and that's saving searches. Let's say that there's a particular set of search criteria that you use a lot. Rather than typing the information into the search fields every time you want to perform this search, instead, when you type your search into the fields, we then go down to where it says Save Search As, where you can give this particular search a name, like so. Then click Save. This brings up the results for that search and also saves the search for later use. If we want to change the saved search, we just amend these fields as required, then click Update down here. Similarly, we can click Delete to delete this saved search altogether. It's also useful to know about the wildcard character. Let's say we want to search for all contacts with STRA in their surname. Now, so far so good. But if we clear this search, we can see that surnames with STRA not at the beginning of the surname were not picked up. So we need to use the wildcard character in our searches to make sure all fields containing our search phrase show up. To do this, we use the percentage symbol, like so. And if we click search now, we can see that the name with STRA in it, rather than just beginning with it, has also come up for us. That concludes the first of our training videos for Sugar CRM. We hope you enjoyed your introduction to the system and found the instructions here useful. And remember, to experience great features like an improved theme, making iSAM perform like your other professional desktop applications, visit abazanda.com today.